Tyler Perry's Mabel Simmons, aka Medea, is one of the most memorable characters in movies today. Perry has featured this gun-toting granny in a slew of films since Medea's cinematic debut in 2005's Diary of a Mad Black Woman. But there still may be a lot you don't know about her. Let's dive right into the fabulous world of Medea and the man who created her. Oprah's Influence Perry has been open about his extremely rough childhood living with a physically and mentally abusive father. As a young adult, Perry heard Oprah Winfrey say that writing about one's traumas could be cathartic, and he ended up doing just that. According to Cinema Blend, he worked on writing his first play, which focused on childhood abuse, for six years, and even lived in his car for periods of time before it finally became a hit in 1998. The Birth of Medea when Perry started out as a playwright in the mid-90s, he wrote plays that had music and melodrama, but no Medea. She showed up in his third play, I Can Do Bad All By Myself. Perry told Winfrey in an interview that originally, Medea was only supposed to be in the play for five minutes, but when the lead actress didn't show up, Perry expanded the character. He explained, Five minutes before the show, I put on the costume and stood at the mirror for the first time. I'm saying, damn, are you really gonna do this? Then the show started and I had no choice. They pushed me out on stage. Medea was a little different in the very first performances, mainly seated in one spot. But according to Perry, when he finally stood up and moved around the stage, the audience laughed and gave him a standing ovation. Hallelujah! <laughs> Medea's Roots the roots of the tall, sassy ex-stripper grandma came from Perry's abusive childhood. He shared with Essence that his mother would take him to beauty parlors to keep him away from his father's wrath. So he saw adult women in a way that many children don't. He explained, The nurturing part of Medea comes from my mother, who would open the doors of our home to you no matter who you were. My aunt inspired the pistol packing, the wig, and the voice. Eddie Murphy's film The Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps, also influenced Perry. Just like Murphy, Perry would go on to play multiple roles in the Medea film. Perry told Winfrey, I have to thank Eddie Murphy, because after I saw him do the clumps, I said, I'm going to try my hand at a female character. I need to write him a check. Say thank you. Stage versus Screen most Medea movies are based on one of Perry's touring plays, but there are differences between the stage and screen versions. Not only do the plays have a musical aspect the films don't, but the Medea in the theater was even more outrageous, especially in the early days, with more gun use and pot smoking. He eventually toned down the character a little because of children watching. He told Creative Loafing, I realized how many children were paying attention, so I wanted her to be a little more responsible. But for the most part, she's pretty much stayed true to the same old pain in the ass. A Chris Rock Joke most Medea movies come from Perry's imagination, but one of them was Chris Rock's idea. According to Variety, Perry had wanted to move on to other projects outside of Medea, but then he saw a gag in the 2015 film Top 5 in which Chris Rock's character is losing out at the box office to the fictional boo of Medea Halloween. Perry and Lionsgate decided to make a real movie with that very theme and title, and it was a huge hit in 2016. <laughs> Big Breaks some Hollywood stars have gotten their big break by being in a Medea movie. Shamar Moore was relatively unknown when he was cast in Diary of a Bad Black Woman. Shortly after, he landed the series Criminal Minds, where he stayed for over a decade. Sofia Vergara appeared in Meet the Browns and Medea Goes to Jail shortly before she started her longtime run on ABC's Modern Family. And Taraji P. Henson credits Perry, who cast her in I Can Do Battle by Myself, with helping her to ask for more money in Hollywood. In her 2016 memoir, Around the Way Girl, she wrote, I was grateful for the work, but even more, I'm grateful to Tyler for putting me on the road to being paid my worth. Backlash According to People magazine, Spike Lee, as well as others, have criticized the character for buffoonery and for portraying the black community in a bad light. Perry told CNN that those critics miss the point of the themes in the Medea films, saying, They miss the messages of empowerment. It's broad. It's over the top. Great. Fine. I get it. But how can you miss the message of forgiveness? How can you miss the messages of empowerment? Do you see the millions of people that are coming to see this? Why the hell would I be worried about a Spike Lee or anybody else? They all can go straight to hell. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.